guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kenya and I'm not gonna be showing my it's not about me today so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the long intro except if this is your first time tuning into my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you'll be notified whenever I upload my next video guys um so today as we all know it it's back to school time and this is the time where parents basically have to empty their pockets for their kids in my household there's a total of four kids okay so we have a, a two first graders fifth grader and a seventh grader so i went to walmart and picked up a few um not a few let me not lie i picked up the school supplies and y'all they be they be tripping on, on this um on that list so we picked up what's necessary i've been buying school supplies for a total of what seven years now so I pretty much know what is really necessary and what's not for the school year so let me just go ahead and show you guys what we all picked up um, remember it's two first graders and a fifth grader and a seventh grader so actually I didn't even pick up seventh grade stuff yet not really. didn't really okay so seventh grade is not really here because um, I didn't get a supply list for them as well as yet and also um the accurate supply list really comes directly from the teacher when they the first day of school. So I, I kind of wait until they get, you know, the first day of school. Then they'll come home and let us know what they actually need. So for the first day of school, this is what I got, okay? want to make sure they have this um, main necessary thing. So let's go ahead. Over here I have four sharpeners. And this is just a regular two-in-one sharpener. I have four right here. Over here, I have a total of eight um, large erasers, and it comes with three in a pack. So I have eight. Even though they say they only they only need two, but guys, we all know the kids never come home with what they went to school with. So it's always best to have extra. I have three sharpeners that comes with. Well, this one only have one, and this one comes with two in there. And these are safety um, scissors. I said sharpeners. I'm sorry, these are safety scissors because, you know, when you go to school, you cannot have the regular sharp scissors. They have to have like a round uh, point or tip of the scissors. Um, I have, what is it, four 24-pack of crayons. I'm always. And this one, I actually just realized I got two different um, type of crayons. This one is a washable crayons, and this one is introducing beautiful blue so that'll be interesting I don't know what that's all about but we'll find out um, over here I have some dry erase markers they always ask for this because I guess during class the teachers like to point a student out to you know write something on the board so they typically don't use chalk like they used to back then and back in the day so, but Dry erase markers, the colorful ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of a 30 pack of pencil, number two pencils. And the best part is they're already sharpened. And I found these very, very um, more convenient than it, than any other pencil because those other pencils does not sharpen for some reason. They just, you, you'll be sharpening for days. So I, I prefer to get these. Plus, it's a lot easier because I think now when you go to school, the teachers prefer the pencils to be sharpened already because they want less mess in their um, classroom. Okay, over here I have some sheet protectors, and this is more for the seventh grader. Um, important papers that your teacher might give them, they need to put this in there, and it comes with the holes already on the side, so they can just slide that in their binder. Also need headphones because we all know that the kids are using computers at school. So they always require they always request for them to have some headphones. I have four headphones right here. I'm sorry that I don't have the prices for each and every one of these things, but I'll tell you the total of what I spent at the end. Hopefully that will give you an idea. Um I have some Sharpies, we um, need that because we have to write their names on almost everything and you don't want it to rub off so permanent markers is always best. We have some pens because again we have a 7th grader so they are transitioning from pencils to pens. 
Um, well, there's some more dry erase markers right here. So I have, um, this has eight in here and this one has, uh, about six. So six is in there. Have some more pens right here. Um, let's see what else we have. We have some staples. Seventh grader, she do have a stapler, so um, a lot of her work, it's like two pages, so she have to staple it. Teachers do request neatness at all times. I have one, two, three, four, five um, color pencils. And again, just realized I picked up two different, like, well, it's the same, but whatever. So I have five packs of 12 pack of color pencils. Also some more Sharpies, highlighters. They always request this. I prefer the skinny ones than the fat ones. Cause it's just, I don't know, it's just better <laughs> when highlighting like small, things that have small um, writings on them. Um, we have some index paper, index cards, I'm sorry. Some index cards. This has a count, 30, it has a 300 count of index cards in here. And I also picked up an index card box. So whenever she do uses it, or she can just store it all in there to um, avoid, you know, having to use like a rubber band or something around it, because that's just going to be lost. We have some grid paper. Um, this is for the fifth grader. I guess, you know, they're advancing and moving up, so they're going to need this. Construction paper. This is a pack of 240. Um, they have projects throughout the year, so construction paper is always requested and needed from the teachers. Um, we have some pouches, some pencil pouches. No longer using boxes, pencil boxes. You know, like when they were in pre-K and kindergarten, and a lot of the times they don't really want that anymore once they get to first grade, so pencil boxes that have four of them and it has the hole on the side so they can just slide that inside of their folder or in the book bag um let's see we have some glue sticks pack of 12 of glue sticks they do go through glue stick glue sticks throughout the year very very fast so that is also good that goes along with the construction paper when they have projects and anything of that sort paper guys one of the number one things is paper they have to have paper so it's like uh 15 packs of paper in here we just took like almost the whole box y'all from the store <laughs> i just grabbed the boxes i was like there's no need to go through like counting so i just grabbed the whole box and this is just a regular college rule um paper 150 sheets in each pack always necessary to have extra paper stored inside the house just for just in case okay so must have more paper than anything paper and pencils folders i know i picked up like it was just hard just one of the hardest thing in the store when you're shopping for supplies is finding the right folders and i think the best folders is to have the one that have the little prongs in the middle that you can just put the paper in there and make sure it has pockets also the one that is I'm sorry make sure it's focused the one that's this material that plastic material I've went through the paper material the the one that has the plastic on the outside and like the paper on the inside Oh, a hot mess a hot hot mess it either tore or it just bend and this one just seemed to last a lot longer I got extra even though they probably I think each one of them requested to have four each but I got extra because just in case like we have a first grader a fifth grader so um yeah so I have extra and yeah they're all the same color but that's not a problem because we have sharpies over there that we can just write their names on the folder and it won't rub off or anything coming over here we have a whole 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 lot of composition books okay yeah this is one of the number one things that's also requested 
composition books for journals for you know in each class each student have what more than one subject so they need they always request for them to have a journal for each class and most of the times the teachers request for them to have a composition book um, as the journals um, they can write notes in there they can write you know and the pages don't come out easily so I think that's why they really um, prefer these and everything that they did throughout the year is stored in this book and you don't have to worry about like um, loose paper like that I have a total of 20 composition books that comes with 100 sheets in each book and last but not least book bags I have one two three and four book bags I'll let them pick out their own book bags this is what they chose and yeah so it's just normal book bags let's see what brand this is this is eSport that's the brand for this one it comes with a whole lot of different pockets on the side um, this is for the one of the boys so it's pretty packed I like it um, it seems like it's going to hold up for the year plus it's black so when they throw their book bag down and you know do whatever they do I don't have to get a headache from it this is another book bag this brand is um, no boundaries let's see if I can catch that so that's the brand for this book bag this is for my daughter Kamara the no this is for Quinessa I'm sorry this is for Quinessa fifth grader this is what she chose this up here is for Kamara the seventh grader she chose this book bag this is also another eSport book bag it's very pretty um, yep it has all of them have pockets on the side so that's the good thing they can put their water bottles or whatever in here um, I doubt she's gonna I doubt they're gonna be the one throwing their bags down on the ground and doing all that so I don't I, I'm confident enough that their book bags are not going to get destroyed or messed up throughout the year or dirty so let's keep our fingers crossed with those right there and also this is for my other son um, I don't know which book bag is for who. That's why I said that's one for one boy and that's for my other boy. So, here's another book bag. This is another eSport. I guess that seems to be like one of the uh, brands that is carried out in Walmart. Because that's all I, I kind of saw um, for backpacks. So, this one is a little gray. Nothing fancy. But this is what they chose and they like it. It's just to be it just needs to be strong enough to carry all of those supplies okay all right guys if you have any more questions remember I got all of these um, supplies from Walmart okay and my total came up to all right guys so for all of these supplies right here I just went and purchased this like you just want you to see right here it says from Walmart this is the list of things right here and the total came up to let's get a close-up of that come on okay right here so the total came up to where is the total 246.79 and that was the total for a total of a hundred and seven items guys so there you have it everything for back to school so for right now everybody should be set if there's any extra things like I said first day of school teacher will always let the students know what else is needed and we'll go out and buy hopefully it's not you know <laughs> a lot so until next time guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you already purchased your child's supplies um good luck with that <laughs> nobody really likes shopping for school supplies when it's time for back to school but until next time toodles